Hi everyone, so welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a rabbit hutch and the different techniques that I use to clean roses. So first of all, I recommend getting all of your supplies together because this just saves a lot of time. So I just have some wood-based litter, straw, hay, a brush, disinfectant, dustpan and brush, and a bin just to sweep all the bedding into. So first I recommend starting in the dirtiest section of the hutch, this tends to be where the litter trays are. So remove all the accessories before you start cleaning and then just remove every single bit of bedding from the hutch. So once the dirtiest part of the hutch is clean, you can continue on to the rest of the hutch. So I recommend removing toys and accessories as you go along before cleaning each section because you don't want to accidentally throw them away. Okay, so now everything's been removed, it's time for disinfecting. It's best to use a pet safe disinfectant as they don't contain any harmful chemicals or bleach. So you can go ahead and wipe the base of the hutch to remove any bacteria. personally like to spray the base with a disinfectant spray as well, this just gives the hutch a fresh scent. So while waiting for the hutch to dry you could go ahead and clean the litter trays. So wipe and wash away any excess litter that's stuck to the bottom and you can remove stains by using a water and vinegar solution, I tend to do this once or twice a month. And then again just to give it a fresh scent you can use a disinfectant spray. So now while you're waiting for the litter trays to dry, you could go ahead and start putting fresh bedding back inside the hutch. It's completely up to you what bedding you want, as long as it's safe for rabbits. I use straw as it has really good insulation, it's natural, there's minimal dust and it also comes in really large compressed bales which last a long time. So pop in as much or as little as you want. I tend to put in more during autumn and winter just so that Rose doesn't get cold. Make sure it's evenly spread around the hutch as this just looks a lot neater. So when the litter trays have dried you can go ahead and pop your trays and substrate back in. I just use wool pellets as they help to control odour and they absorb a lot as well. done you can just pop them back in the hutch.
Next, I recommend putting sources of hay in the hutch as hay makes up 80% of a rabbit's diet. I just put a large pile close to Rosie's litter tray and then she has hay toys and hay ball to eat from too. So now you can go ahead and fill the hutch back up with toys and accessories. Rosie has two stuffed animals, a rabbit and a giraffe. Then I chose to put in a loofah chew, a Christmas wood chew, a willow twist ball and a seagrass tunnel. And there we go, that is how to successfully clean a rabbit hutch. It's also really important to clean any mess that you made just to keep the hutch area clean and tidy, so just sweep any excess bedding up as best as you can. watching i really hope you enjoyed and hope you found this helpful if you have any questions leave them below and i'll see you in my next video bye